Support our school by subscribing to the channel and check out our website for new classes starting soon. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Delato with the Columbus School of Chinese. We've had a lot of requests for a quiet band instructional video series, so we thought we'd put one together for you. A quick disclaimer before we get started. I am not an expert. I am not a professional storyteller. I learned Kwai Ban as a graduate student living in Beijing. I picked this particular folk art because I was looking to improve my language skills. And when you're performing Kwai Ban, you're speaking in Mandarin, so this is a great way to do that. Also, the instrument is relatively easy to learn how to play. So in today's video, we're going to learn how to hold the instrument correctly, how to hold a beat during your storytelling performance. Those are the two main things we'll focus on. Kwai Ban, which is this particular instrument here and this storytelling tradition, is an oral storytelling tradition that originated in northern China. Performers will use this instrument to hold a beat while they tell a long, often very humorous story. So we have the larger slats of bamboo, two of them, which we hold in our right hand. We're going to focus more on the larger slats of bamboo in a later video. Today we're going to focus more on the smaller slats which we hold in our left hand. So if we look up close, on the right side we have four short pieces of bamboo that are held together by this string, and we have these three coins here. So they make that beautiful sound when we're holding our rhythm. And then on the left side we just have the one piece. And when we're holding the instrument, we want to do it this way. We're going to have our pointer finger go through this section here. Our three fingers in the back are going to brace this small slat, and our thumb is going to be held on top. Okay, So we're holding the instrument this way. Again, this is our left hand, pointer finger through here, three fingers brace the back. This, I think, is probably the most important skill in learning to tell a story. It is being able to move your thumb from the top to underneath the knot. And again, our knots are always facing in when we're performing. So we're going to be practicing this a lot. If you want to get good at this, this is a skill you have to have. Okay. Because when we're holding a beat, we're doing this. So what's happening here? Again, we have these three fingers which are bracing the back here. And as we twist our wrist, this is coming in. We move our thumb from the top down to right below the knot. Okay? And then we bump back, right? So we're doing this. Now this is a very basic beat, but you can tell pretty much any story using this particular beat. So I'll give you an example here. 我说了个小孩叫家家 right. Or here's another one for you 唐僧到西天去取经 So that's our basic beat. You could do that for a very long story. You know, there's stories that you could tell that are 6, 10, 15 minutes long and you can use that, that same beat the entire time. You can speed it up or you can slow it down. And the better you get at moving your thumb from top to bottom, the better you will be at controlling the kwai ban and the quickness at which you hold that beat. So again, to recap, this is our kwai ban. In the right hand, we hold the larger slats. Our knot is always going to face in. With our left hand, we are holding the smaller piece of the instrument. We're going to put pointer finger through here. These fingers are going to brace the back of the slat on the left side, and the thumb is going to go on top. And what we want to work on is moving the thumb from top to below the knot. And that is going to be the beat that we're going to hold during our storytelling performance. We'll have more for you in the future. 再见!